Boston, CM is really fortunate to have a vast array of historical and cultural institutions at its fingertips. You can visit museums like the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum or the Museum of Fine Arts, among many others. And while these places have world-class art collections, you also have a number of other options for absorbing culture. For example, you can visit the murals and the sculptures at the Boston Public Library, either Harvard or MIT's campus, murals on Northeastern's campus. All of these are great places to absorb culture, and even better, they're absolutely free. Public art. And you can learn a lot from these places as well. Take the Robert Gould Shaw Memorial. Here's the memorial. It's a bronze relief sculpture in the Boston Commons, right across from the Massachusetts State House. Robert Gould Shaw was a colonel in the Union Army in the Civil War. He was from a prominent abolitionist family here in Boston. He commanded the 54th uh, Regiment, which was made up entirely of volunteer African-American soldiers. So advice I would give for somebody looking at a piece of public art is to pay attention not only to what is being depicted, but how. Are the lines curved or straight? Are they vertical or horizontal? Is it abstract? Is it naturalistic? What's the medium? What are the colors used? Do you have to look up at it? Do you have to look down at it? The presence of these African-American soldiers on the relief is really important. Each one is rendered with a lot of detail and a lot of individuality, giving each one his own personality and presence on the memorial. The sculpture is set above the eye level of the average person so that the viewer not only has to look up at Shaw, but also at the infantryman, paying them respect. The predominance of vertical lines leads the viewer's eye upwards to the figure of victory, a mythological winged woman holding a laurel wreath that signifies honor and glory. This regiment was defeated in battle, but the participation of the 54th Regiment was crucial because it set a precedence for full participation of African Americans in our armed forces. I teach my AP Spanish students about the value of public art, partly because it goes to my own academic interests. In addition to my PhD in Spanish, I have a master's in art history, and a lot of my research revolves around the idea of nationalism and patriotism in art. But it's also important because it's part of uh, civic duties, right? In a lot of Spanish-speaking countries, education is seen as political. What that means is education prepares someone to participate fully in public life. Public art, like murals or sculptures, can help to teach people about their history, about their past, and about their heritage. One example of public art that we look at in AP Spanish are Diego Rivera's murals in the National Palace of Mexico. These are open to the public, anybody can go in and take a look at them, and they tell the story of Mexico's history, not only from the conquest to the present day, but also they tell a story about the majesty and the dignity of pre-Columbian cultures. So if you're looking for truly public art, free art, check out our website for a list of my favorite spots.